This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Stoll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Jimin's song called Set Me Free Part 2, okay? So it goes like this, give you a preview, it's pretty awesome, check it out. Awesome, let's get on to it. Melody and chords, that's the foundation, and afterwards you can add your improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version. We'll get the melody and block chords version out of the way first, then teach you how to make it more awesome, okay? So, right hand starting on the G here, middle C, chord but octave C, G up here. So three Gs, up to D, B flat C. Then repeat that same phrase again, G, 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 D, B flat C. All right, that's the first part. So we're gonna break up the lesson into two parts, it's easier to learn. Let's learn it once again. So it goes G, 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 D, B flat, C, G, 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 D, B flat, C. All right, so essentially six, uh, 12 notes, okay? But it's actually just six notes played twice. So left hand, we have two chords. We have C minor, which is C, E flat, G, and then A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. So with these two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, C and C minor together. Gonna aim it. E flat major together. So all the parts is actually just the last note of each six note phrase with the chord played together. Like this, so one, two, three, four, five, and a six chord. Same here, one, two, three, four, five, together. Like that. Okay, even for the second part, it's the same concept. All right, so the second part right hand continues because G, 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 D, E flat, C, G, 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 D, B flat, G. That's it for the right hand for the second part. Let's learn it again. So G, 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 D, E flat, C, and G, 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 D, B flat, G. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords here, F minor, which is F, A flat, C, and G major, which is G, B, D. So with these two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, get F minor together, G and G major together. That's it. Let's learn it again. So it goes together. Get up. That's it. So back to back, the two parts of learned this lesson will be playing like this. And you just repeat it. Okay. Now, after you master the melody and block chords version, okay, this is like more simple basic version, foundational version, well, you need to get this version right before you want to add stuff into it. Because I'm pretty much like playing exactly this version, but just having other improvisations on top of it as well. Still based off this version, okay? Anyways, so after you master it, you can add a secondary um, melody. So you go the right hand, go to C, G, F, C, G, F, near the middle C, this middle C. So, so C, G, F, C, G, F, and play this secondary melody after you finish each uh, phrase like this. Like that, okay? So it's pretty big jump, so master the melody and block chords first, that version, then start to add these secondary melodies in between each phrase, okay? And afterwards, if you get good at that, you can start to do a left hand uh, rhythmic pattern, okay? Just like low bass note and then arpeggios or improvisational like um, rhythmic patterns, so like that kind of thing, okay? So, that kind of, that kind of like, um, you want to like jump between it.
yeah play around like that now yeah, you can see sometimes i'm harmonizing with the right hand as well so yeah that's why i said melody and block chords that's the foundational version you must get that then you start adding extra stuff into it and make it more awesome like that so i hope you enjoyed this lesson by the way if you want to learn other awesome tunes like this search up your favorite song name followed by amos on the youtube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself but as of now that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.